So yeah. beer good. Hello, Louisiana beer reviews. I'll start it over. No. Yeah. It's just a little screw up. We are looking at something from Crying Eagle out of Monroe, Louisiana. This yeah. says Flying Eagle. Eagle. Flying. Oh, sorry. Flying Eagle. Out of Monroe, Louisiana. This is called Protocol. This is a Russian Imperial Stout. It's coming at nine percent alcohol. Uh, I don't know the IBUs. You want to check it out? Let now, me know. Now there all is a stuff on it. Now in Lake Charles, Louisiana, there's a crying. There's a crying eagle. It's called crying eagle. And there's there's a crying eagle. eagle, yeah. And when I went to Alaska, the bald eagle that flew right close to me, it it made that noise, you know, kind of. Do we get bald eagles all around here? I know. I never got so close to one. Nine percent alcohol, craft a can and kegged in Monroe. Drink heroic beer, so it's got a skull and a flight helmet and the oxygen. It's like a World War II yeah. situation. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, possibly Korean War, but probably World War II. Oh, um, World War II because it's the leather thing. All right, there's a bunch of just talk. Okay, tons right. of semi-bitter chocolate and roasted notes are balanced on the palate with the sweetness of Madagascar vanilla, brown sugar, and cocoa nibs. So oh, wow. I'm going to try to find the legal description. It just says Russian Imperial Stout. Usually, I think legally they're supposed to say something like flavored stout, but they didn't put that. But I guess the oversight for them is going to be low. All right, 16 ounces. It's going to be a big boy. It's like 32 for one. And it's nine, right? Nine percent alcohol per volume. I suppose the Russians go proud. I've had some at 12, but you know, not too many. Oh, I saw a report today on the news, internet news, that Carls you might get more. Carlsberg sold all their Russian breweries, like Baltica and everything. No, you're not getting any more. So Carlsberg is finished in Russia. But maybe they'll go back now that things might be changing as we are recording. You're not getting any more. <laughs> oh, man. I got... Benefited. Okay. You get big benefits. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Anyway, now you've had this before, but I haven't. Can you spill some? I have not had this. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I thought about. you you bought no. a few cans. Oh, no, right. it's one. I told him one can. Um, one can. Smell like chocolate. I can see the vanilla, the cocoa noodles. Man, alcohol's punching you. Yeah. I hope the uh, air condition didn't ruin the last two videos, but we'll just hope for the best. It's been really hot, y'all, and the AC's running, you know. And it's actually a cool looking can, too. Yeah. Alright, cheers. I smell cocoa. Yeah. The vanilla. The, the, the rich, bready crust. And this is probably the first video review for this product in the world. I'm not wow. sure, but I don't see a lot of videos for flying. Um, Tiger. Drink your beer and enjoy. Come on, man. Flying Tiger. Hey, don't rush me. That bottle. Uh, something funny tasting about it. Yeah, what is that? It's like spinach. <coughs> Something's wrong with this beer. It's like metallic. It is metallic. It's like the spinach came out the can and it got the tin can on it. Oh man. It's disinfected. I don't know what's, what it is, but it ain't good. And I, it, there's no use checking the date because 9% in a can, it should be fine, you know, even if it's years old. And this company ain't been around that long. No date, guys. And like Greg says, Put the damn date. Now he's he's right about that. It's like uh, how hard is it to put the I'm not drinking this. There's something wrong with this product. Look. Hey, you could have it all. It's very metallic. It's got like, a, like shoe leather or something. Yeah. Ugh. It's so dry. This is like the driest beer ever. It makes Bud Light look sweet. Uh, something wrong with this beer. I, when I taste a beer, it tastes like spinach. And I got a beer from another company in Illinois once. And the, the girl was like, I want you to have this one. Because they had a little screw up on their shipment to me, you know. This was like years ago. 
and then I tasted it. It tasted like spinach. It was terrible. I didn't even post a video. It's got to be affected. I can't drink it. I don't want to get sick. I feel like I would get ill. I mean, I could drink it. Oh, I can drink it. I wouldn't get sick. But it might come back up. Nah. I got real spinach, fresh spinach in the fridge, in a bag. I'll eat that. I had some. I don't know what, what, would, what would turn it, though. If you feel like you want to keep drinking it and give, I'm giving it an F, undrinkable. I can't drink this. I mean, I, I don't feel like it would be a, a smart idea. And it tastes bad anyway, so I don't want to drink it. Yeah, there's some kind of metallic thing going on with it. It's very metallic. And that's just telling me, don't drink it. I had about three ounces so, so far. That, I wonder if something happened with this can. <laughs> it looks looked like it was solid. It looks fun. I mean, it's it's, uh, it's got uh, you know average you know deliverable dents in it like all cans do. Yeah, it, we can't drink this right. I don't even think you can post this video. If you want to, if you want to shame the company. You hate to do that though, but maybe I'll put put it on anti-war channel. Yeah. Nobody watches you know, that. You know, it's even worse than this. I got five more cans. Oh, no. Well, I, thanks for the offer, but I don't want them. <laughs> but you ought to try them and see if they're all bad like that. If they, we could do a follow-up, and if the other, next one's bad, of course, then they, the companies could say, well, it's a bad batch. Well, how do you know? Because you didn't put a code on the can. Right. You don't even know when it was made. Yeah, we should probably contact them and say, hey, look, this stuff is bad. I bought it at a store. Can you send me a fresh four-pack of it? Oh, uh, well, I wouldn't even take the time to do it, but this is nasty. Hey. Hey, uh, that company in California did. North Coast? Yeah, North, North Coast did. With that rancid one, yeah. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm going to see if there's a number on here and contact them and ask them about this because <laughs> it's being sold in a store and it doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why they would allow it to get sold in a store? I mean, they I mean, they did pass your QA, but it's still sold. You mean you tasted this as the brew and you thought this should have been canned? Should have been canned? Right. Maybe the vanilla or the vanilla went rancid or something. That's a natural ingredient, but uh, that metallic it, it leaves real fast too. But it's there. It's like it's going down and it leaves real fast. Try it again. Oh, well, I just dread to try it. I don't know. I think it's infected. This stuff is, it's got to be, uh, I, I'll give it an F. I'm, it's an F because I can't drink it. I'm going to say it's a it's a 30 out of 100. It's terrible. Oh, yeah. I it's almost like it was stored in some kind of a steel storage container or something. Or copper. It tastes like copper. Like a penny. Yeah. Like, did you guys clean your freaking tanks before you made this? So what's your number? Nah. Uh, I gotta give this an F too. It didn't even make like you like I don't know fifty or something. I'm saying thirty, like below half. I mean, if you take a test and you score thirty out of one hundred, you really need to quit that class. Yeah, this is this is definitely missing something. Yeah, like good taste. <gasps> I mean, I got more cans. I'll, I'll try another one, but I'll tell you what: if another one's like this, contact them. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna contact them, saying, "Hey, look, what's going on with this?" Stuff is horrible. You got no, you got no date on it. Nothing, nothing to tell when it was brewed or anything. So, no, no best. I mean, I hate, I hate to do this to the small companies, but you know what? You can't turn stuff out like this. Have people pay an, an, an inflated price for this, and then you know, told it like it's really good. I mean, this is, this is not good. Uh, yeah. Tout it, you mean? Yeah, tout it. Yeah, yeah tout it. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, folks, but this is a fiasco. All right, well, let's cut the video off. Yeah, cut it. Sorry. Ugh.